Hello and welcome to the Crafternoon Room. Today we are going to make Canada Day crafts. To begin, you will need a platform, a pencil, large scissors for you to use and small scissors for your child to use, white glue or a glue stick, a ruler, red paint, a paintbrush, a sponge, recycled cardboard, recycled newspaper, recycled magazine, white paper, and toilet paper rolls. You do not need all of these materials as they are just suggestions, so choose what materials work best for you and your child. For the first craft, we will be making a Canadian flag. Start with a magazine or newspaper and ask your child to find anything they can see with red on the page and rip it out. Then ask them to cut out as many red pieces as they wish carefully and safely and put them into a recycled container. Get a piece of white paper or cardboard and ask your child to glue on all those small pieces of red newspaper or magazine to the paper. If you decided to use newspaper, it's best to use a glue stick. If you decided to use a magazine, it's best to use white glue. While your child is gluing the red pieces of paper, you can draw a maple leaf, big or small, on the recycled piece of cardboard and cut them out as you will use those as stencils later. When your child is glued on all the pieces onto the cardboard, let it dry and flatten it with a heavy book. Then, take out your maple leaf stencil and trace it on the other side of the cardboard or paper. Take out a ruler measuring about two and a quarter inch on either side of the paper or cardboard and cut that out lengthwise, along with the maple leaf you traced. Then, your child can glue it onto a piece of white paper or recycled cardboard, making it look like a Canadian flag. The next craft we're going to make is a Canada Day shaker. To begin, take out a white piece of paper and use your stencils to stamp maple leaves on the paper using red paint. You can use a paintbrush or you can sponge paint it to make sure it's completely covered in paint. Get your child to stamp the pages as many times as they want with the small or large maple leaf. To secure the stamp to the finger, you can use tape or sticky tack. If you want to make a Canada Day flag, you can always take the large maple leaf, stamp, and stamp it in the middle of the white paper and then use a sponge or paintbrush and your child can paint on the opposite side of the maple leaf looking something like this. Once the paint is dry, you can keep this to look like a flag or you can wrap it around a toilet paper roll using glue. Once it's glued to the toilet paper roll, your child can cut the paper on the opposite side of the roll lengthwise however they like. This will create a sound when you shake it. Get creative and have fun with this Canada Day activities and crafts in your crafternoon room. And happy Canada Day!